This video is for the ultra newbie out there who's never bought a single share in their life and probably doesn't even have a Comsec or any kind of trading account set up. Now I personally use Comsec, so what I'll be going through is how to trade on Comsec and how to set up an account on Comsec. Now the very first thing you need to do before buying any shares whatsoever is to set up an account called a CDIA or a Commonwealth Direct Investment Account. This acts like a bank account where you put your money into it and the platform will deduct money from this account every time you buy shares and it'll credit the account every time you sell your shares. If you want to know how to set up a CDIA account, just head off to the Comsec website and there'll be a simple guide into how to register for one. And it's nothing complicated, it's just a regular bank account. It's no different than when you go into your net bank and you've got a savings account. You can transfer money between your CDIA and your savings account, or you can send money to this account from, let's say, St. George or Westpac. It's got a BSB number and account number, so it really is just a regular bank account. It just happens to have the money deducted from this account every time you make a trade. Before we make our very first trade, Let's have a look at the costs and fees associated with every trade that we're going to make. It costs $10 up to and including every $10,000 worth of shares that we trade, $19.95 over $1,000 up to $10,000, and then $29.95 for over $10,000 up to $25, and then 0.12% for any trade over $25,000. Now, in the time that I've done my trading, I've never had to deal with any of these additional fees. These are things where if you plan on trading over the phone for some reason, or you plan on making one-off trades and you don't have a CDIA account, then all these other fees are worth looking into. Otherwise, these are the fees that you're really interested in looking at. Here's a quick example. Let's say you buy $1,000 worth of shares. It's going to cost you $1,000 plus $10 for the brokerage fee. That means you'll get deducted $1,010 from your CDIA account when you make this trade. Then later on, let's say in a few weeks time, you sell those shares for $1,400. What will happen is you'll get back $1,400 less the brokerage fee. Meaning in your CDIA account, you'll get $1,380.05 back. So out of that $400 profit, you end up paying $30 worth or just under $30 worth of brokerage and you end up with $370 worth of profit. Now in this example, it sounds quite expensive to have 7.5% of your profits as trading fees, but keep in mind that the more you spend, the cheaper the fees ultimately. So if you spend $1 to $2,000 on buying and selling shares, it's going to take a bigger cut of your profit than if you spend between eight dollars to $10,000, for example. One last thing we need to understand before making our very first trade is the concept of the ASX settlement period or T plus two. Believe it or not, when you buy shares on a Monday, the money isn't automatically deducted from your account on Monday. It's actually settled, the trade is actually settled on T plus two, which is the trading day plus two business days. Here's an example. If you buy shares on a Monday, money will come out of your account on the Wednesday. Now this doesn't mean you have to wait until Wednesday to sell your shares. You own the shares right away on the Monday that you bought the shares. You can sell them five minutes later if you wanted to. Let's have a look at what happens when you actually trade the shares within the T plus two period. There's something called contra, which is an offset. So if we buy shares on Monday, and let's say the stock is called ABC. So we buy $10,000 worth of shares. So we expect on T plus two, which is on Wednesday, to be deducted $10,000 from our account. But let's say on T plus one, which is Tuesday, we decide to sell an amount of shares that are valued at $7,000 from any other company. Let's say a company called XYZ. If we sell $7,000 worth of shares on T plus one, on T plus two, we end up paying $3,000, which is the difference. So we bought 10,000 shares, $10,000 worth of shares, and we sold $7,000 worth of shares. So the difference is $3,000. So on T plus two, we have to end up settling that amount. Now keep in mind, this can be the same, ABC and ABC, 
or it can be ABC and an entirely different company XYZ as in, in this example. So you don't have to offset through the same company that you bought. You can trade anything. As long as there's an offset, it will be balanced out on the trading day of T plus two. Now that we have all that covered, let's look at getting our very first trade. Every stock in every company listed on the ASX has a three letter code or something called a stock ticker. With that stock ticker, you enter it in this search box up here. Let's say we want to look at a company called FMG or Fortescue Metals Group. So we click on that and we end up with this screen over here. Now this screen can look overwhelming the very first time you look at it because there's just so much information on it. I'll just point out the things that you really need to know when you first start out investing and trading on Comsec. We need to look at the last price, which is the price that's been traded at the moment. This shows today's change, so how much the price has actually moved today. And in this case, it's opened at the exact same price as it is today. So the stock price actually hasn't moved for this stock. We can look at the summary chart here is also very important. We can see the list of prices on the buy side and the sell side. We can see the orders, which breaks down this table or this graph here into a more detailed version. So we can see there's 18 people that are wanting to buy 9,500 shares at this price here at $11.11. .11. So this order book will break that down and we can see every single individual order that is buying at $11.11. So it's just a, a more of a breakdown view so you can see exactly what kind of orders are going through. And then we have course of sales. Course of sales is exactly as it sounds. What people have purchased and when. So let's say we want to buy FMG or Fortescue Metals. What you need to understand is the concept of the order book. Now, the price might be $11.11 .11 right now, but that's not the price that we can get it at if we wanted the shares immediately. If we wanted the shares right now, we'd have to pay $11.12 because there's that many people selling these shares on the market. Now, if you wanted to be patient and you wanted to put in an order for $11.08, you can do that you'd be the very bottom of this queue. There are currently 27 people in queue to buy this stock at $11.08. You would be the 28th person. And then everyone above you would get priority until the stock gets sold down into your order. Now let's have a look at actually buying Fortescue Metals. We click on buy and we end up on this screen here. We can choose to purchase a certain amount of shares, let's say 500, 500 shares, and we can set a price and we can see the listed price here. There are 23,000 shares at $11 on the buy side, or we can opt to buy these shares here and get them right away at $11.12 because there's 50,000 shares on queue to sell. So we can set our price of $11.12. And we can see the total price here is automatically set for us. So we end up paying $5,560 with $20 brokerage fee. And this is how much will be deducted from our CDIA account. Or if you prefer, particularly for newer traders, you can just put in the $5,800 as a value and it'll tell you exactly how many shares you can purchase with this amount of money. And then of course the breakdown is provided for you automatically. Then just simply hit and then hit submit order. Now that we've made our very first purchase of shares on Comsec, let's have a look at what our portfolio looks like. So we bought FMG shares and we've got 521 shares at $11.12 purchase price. The latest price of FMG is $11.13, which for today is a change of one cent and happens to be a change of 0.01%. Now this, these numbers relate to the price of the actual stock for today. So this is today's change and today's change percentage. When we look at the profit and loss, we're sitting at $18.13 loss. And the reason for that, the reason we're sitting at a loss and not a profit is because this, this price here, this number here factors in 
that we paid brokerage. So we're currently sitting at a loss until we cover our brokerage fees from profits. So the entire uh, trade that we have here, we're sitting at 0.01% profit and loss, or in this case, a loss at the moment. We've got a market value just under $5,800. This happens to be 100% of our portfolio. And we've made a change today of $5.21. Now this fact is, now this value change here is the change for today. So we've made $5.21 today on the basis that we've had got 521 shares and it's moved up 0.01% or the fact that it's moved up one cent for today. So that just about covers it guys and congratulations, you've just made your first share purchase or at least you've watched me make one.